Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and today we've got a new little Costco item for you. This is the Sticky Toffee Pudding Co. British Sticky Toffee Pudding Scrumptious Sticky Date Cake with a buttery toffee sauce. Serve hot, keep refrigerated, freeze for up to nine months. And it comes in two 18 ounce trays of it for $13.99. So it's roughly $7 per tray of it. And you can heat this up in the oven or microwave. We did oven and it says served with creme anglaise, creme, cream <laughs> or ice cream, optional scatter with toasted pecans. So I got to bring up something here yeah. because I love the way they uh, do the wording and everything like that. Yeah. Trying to pass themselves off as British. That's right. Like a British company, right? Yeah. And the 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 way everything looks. Uh -huh. I also love that they, you know, put that on there, right? Yeah, um, the scrumptious. Because you know that gives it away. Yes. This is an American company that loves the the Queen and everything. Yes. They're like, what is it, Anglophiles? Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Because and they are from where? Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, exactly. In 2004, Tracy Wilkinson Claros, our founder, moved from Kendall, England to Austin, Texas. Starting with nothing more than a folding table at a local farmer's market, she introduced artisan British puddings to Austin, Texas, and eventually to the U.S. retail market. So that's what we got going on here. It's mm -hmm. some Anglophiles, and they're making some British stuff. Gotta bring up something here, which is I find this packaging, like the just terrible dude really it's, a, it's something that a gothic girl would love <laughs> but i think most normal people would see this and go uh i don't know about buying this 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 just turns me off mm. i want some bright colors i want to be like you know happy eating this you know um, i think that the problem is number one i hate their logo just while we're on a tangent just yeah. giving them some feedback hate the logo i hate the company name like that's a lot going on yeah. and you're also pigeonholing yourself into doing one item but also there's like 18 different freaking fonts going on on here <laughs> um wow okay that is the company name yes very the, yes terrible terrible so claros because that's her name claros um you could stand to maybe hire some marketing people to fix that for you. But I don't mind like the look of the packaging. It is a little bit American Gothic though. This is really weird too. Claros, a baker since childhood, ensures each pudding is made with emphasis on pure flavors and textures that melt in the mouth to evoke memories of home baking and family traditions. Now, I wonder if this is started by her and why is she talking in third person? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, That's true. It's weird. It the is. way that the there's a lot to like dislike Maybe here. Maybe she's got a whole lot of Bridget Jones going on. You know, she yeah. fancies herself another Bridget Jones. She's narrating her life. Yeah. But now here's the thing. I cut this into three pieces in the tray after it came out of the oven. Like I let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I cut it into three pieces. But coming out of the tray, oh, it just disintegrated. So we have a plate full of like um, just crumbles of cake. However, it smells awesome. And I mean, it, it doesn't look at all coming out of the tray like it does on no, the package. No, because on the package, it looks like a freaking brownie. Yeah. This looks um, like a, like a, like a mess. Yeah, like a banana cake or what, no, po um, bread, banana bread. Yeah. It's like melted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's, so it, there's no good presentation here. However, if it tastes good, that's fine, right? Yeah, exactly. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Guys, welcome back, our rating system. Thumbs up out again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. I gotta say something though. Mm -hmm. This thing is very rich. Mm -hmm. It's, I, um, man, I feel like I'm all hyper now, you know, from all the, the sugar and stuff like that. I feel like I can, I feel like a- Conquer the world. <laughs> no, not even conquer the world. I feel like a, one of those kids that are very hyper, 
-huh. I got the energy to like run around and stuff like that. Man, mm -hmm. this is um, just very rich. What I would say is that if I were to buy this again, what I would do with this is have the ice cream. Mm. I think the ice cream would really help to balance this out. I also add more sugar to it. Well, I don't think I could just <laughs> eat it just as is, you know, like I need something to like- A little balance. Yeah, just balance it out, man. Like mm. eating it like this is just like too intense for me. Mm. Um, I mm. would also have a smaller portion mm. because I think um, that's the other problem here. This thing is just, this is not something you can like, you know, you gotta be, careful with this thing. It's good though. I like it. Um, it's very toffee. Like the, mm. you seem to have a lot of opinions on this. So <laughs> you know what? Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. I didn't mean to like cut you short. Okay. So for me, this one's going to be a thumbs up. Thoroughly enjoyed this. I loved every minute of it. I don't care if it looked like um, dog food on a plate. <laughs> it really tasted good. Um, I do wish that it could have a little bit better presentation, especially if you are like entertaining or something. It's not really the best look. However, it tastes damn good. This tasted to me like if pecan pie was a cake. Like it had that specific kind of flavor to it. Clearly somebody else agrees over yeah, here Yeah, I was gonna well. say, we got a dog here barking, so. I or... think they're like wanting the last yeah. little bit that's there. I saved that for them, so maybe they sense that. But this tastes really good. It's very, very decadent. I was gonna say, they're not having that. Um... Oh, you're gonna Yeah, do? yeah, I'll well, finish it. That's fine, I'm going straight to the tray in the kitchen. <laughs> but this is amazing. I I do feel like maybe I am getting a little bit of the sugar rush now. It tastes so freaking good, especially whenever it's warm and it's just like gooey. And you know what? We had- I would say before the break, we were low energy now. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> now we previously tried um, like a, I forget the brand name, but it was like a spotted dick steamed pudding. Yeah. And it kind of was supposed to be like one of these types of desserts. Now, do you think that, um, what's her name? Um, Claros? Claros. Didn't want to call it spotted dick. Well, that's a different, um, you know, or do you it's a different kind of pudding because that one I believe has sultanas. Do you think she makes spotted dick? Do you think she... Um, I'm sure she's you, quite familiar with spotted dick. I was dick. gonna say, I'm sure she takes down a lot of spotted dick, I'm right? sure she Just does. Just looking at her picture, yeah. I'm sure she does. She looks like she could, she could take down a lot of it. Oh. Now, that one though, it was kind of like dry. It didn't really have like a lot of like moistness to it. And this is just soaked through with the toffee sauce. It really lives up to the name. This is sex on a plate. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use your Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.